Good morning, my name is Anthony. I'm the owner of All City Plumbing in Expedry, and we're gonna do a little shop tour over here. I love the atmosphere here at All City Plumbing, the teamwork, the busyness, the calls, the technicians. It's a great work environment, uh, a lot of good vibes here. Everyone's always uh, up and at them, very happy here. This is gonna be our call center. Inside here is where our CSRs and our dispatchers uh, take calls. They take calls for All City Plumbing and they also take calls for Expedry. Tina, what are you working on? I'm working on getting Expedry up and going, making sure calls are labeled correctly, making sure our techs know they're going to water damage, make sure to refer our sister company, and that's it. Thank you. Right? Inside here, there's going to be a live training going on right now. We have Jason Walker doing some sales training. Hi there. Hey, how you doing? My name is Jason with All City. Uh, it looks like my note says Mr. Jeff Corona. Would you like for me to call you Mr. Jeff or Mr. Corona? That's fine. How you doing? Hi, how are you? Before I step in, is it right where I park my vehicle? Uh, behind our technicians is our training center. Next month, we're going to launch uh, All City University. We have uh, four of our apprentices that are going to go through it. It's going to be a one month program. Uh, our lead technician is going to train the apprentices to become junior techs where they'll develop into junior techs and they'll go into vans and start running calls. And then we're going to go to the other side of the office and the other side is going to be the HR and the very back part of this uh, next office is going to be for extra dry. Morning guys. What's yeah. one of the things that you feel like is a benefit that you guys offer as a, as a HR team for your people? So we'll answer the plumber's questions no matter what. So, so even when we're from home, we'll still help them out with questions that they might have for the new guys. Um, I like to give them my uh, personal number. So for whatever help they might need um, that someone might not be able to answer that's on the clock, um, I'll still answer from home. Um, just pretty much we're always there for each other when we need them. Um, we help out the plumbers, the plumbers help us out. Um, stuff like that. Do you believe in this company? Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. And then these two back offices are for our managers. And then when you come over here, this is extra dry. We're actually having a meeting. We've already outgrown our spot. We uh, started this uh, three months ago, and here we go. This is extra dry. Everybody say hi. hi. What up? Here we go. So this is our our meeting. Uh, we started this three months ago, and uh, it's we've already grown out the space. You guys having you a good see. time? Oh, yeah. 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 The new business got to be like, you got to talk to me about the, the intensity around the new business and adding that on. Oh yeah, so the the new company, Exadry, we started it three months ago. Um, on day one, we started with 10 people, uh, four of them were managers, and uh, it's because this industry for restoration is completely new to me. Up until recently, I knew nothing about the business, but I did know that I was able to generate leads from All City Plumbing and I knew that if I hired great people, they would be able to propel the company forward. And basically that's why I started with uh, four managers day one, because I'm able to work through them to help uh, grow the company and, and they're helping me bring on uh, good people to grow the company. And three months ago, we started with 10 people and then now we're, we've got over 20 guys, uh, 20 people rolling and uh, we're just growing nonstop. Uh, next month, we're gonna start a recon division so we, we have the first three months, we just did mitigation and pack out. And uh, next month is gonna be our fourth month where they're gonna launch a recon division. So that way we can do all three sides of the restoration. What are we looking at here? Uh, what we're looking at here is just uh, some of the games that we have. Uh, this arcade one is pretty cool because there's actually uh, 3000 games in here. These cages used to be half the size that they are. And, um, but the thing is, is that three months ago, we were a little ambitious. And three months ago, we started two things at the same time. We started a trenchless liner division. Yep. So we extended the cage out for all of the lining material. We do uh, pipe lining, epoxy coating, uh, pipe bursting, and directional boring. And we started that division about three, month, uh, three and a half months ago. And then uh, two weeks later, we're starting the restoration company. So inside the shop, it's kind of messy because we kept having to extend the cages and build up uh, more shelving. Um, so some of the things that we keep on hand and just uh, just so you know that this is this is work in progress. Like yeah. we, like I said, we rearranged a couple things, but uh, we have uh, storage water heaters, tankless water heaters. We have water filtration systems. Uh, we uh, over here there's a, a tool crib. Yeah. So inside here we have um, like pro presses and 
just all of the bigger equipment that's you know expensive. We have all our safety shoring. We have shorter rails in here. Uh, I think some of the things that are interesting that are unique to us that I didn't have at places I worked at was all the different types of shoring setups that we have. We do a lot of digging jobs. You know, we do a lot Can of. Can you show uh, me what you're talking about? Yeah. So these are the uh, hydronic. Uh, Shoring rails right here. These ones are shorter rails, so they're easier to put in. I first started with these bigger ones. The technicians giving me their feedback, you know, they let me know that these ones are, are just too heavy and cumbersome to deal with on some of the smaller holes that they're doing. And then uh, I, I looked into it and I found these and the guys are loving these ones. Awesome. So this is pretty cool actually. Like I know it's a, I know it's a mess we're learning, but so this is the uh, restoration side. And this is a really cool feature. These are like uh, pretty much Apple um, Air Tags. Uh, that's, that's made by a company called Nero. And down over here, you can see that there's this thing called a collector. And right here, uh, that little thing, it's, it's called a collector. There's one of these in, in every one of our vans. So all of this equipment can get checked in and out uh, just by the frequency it sets off and the collector knows that it's in here. So you don't have to uh, physically do anything like once this equipment leaves this area and goes into a van there's a collector inside the van that picks up the air tag and automatically it gets checked into the van so right. everything gets checked in and out just based on these little uh, tags and this is this has made things so much easier because with restoration you're dealing with like we have over 300 pieces of equipment okay so to check in and out over 300 pieces of equipment to the technicians and then check it back in um, is just extremely time consuming and uh, we've, we found this technology and it's it's helping us a lot. Do you do this stuff at all to neighbors or anything like that? Or yeah, so these are some of our leave behinds, you know, because we have Service Titan uh, software, which is which is great, you know, and we have uh, call tracking numbers and all these things. And we've been passing these. We've had Service Titan for, I don't know, five years maybe, four or five years. and. Uh, since we're able to generate call tracking numbers, we put this different call tracking numbers on all of our leave behinds. And then, you know, a year or two down the road, we're able to see uh, what kind of revenue we're generating from these things. And I can tell you right now, we make a lot of money off of magnets uh, and business cards. Hmm. <laughs> Gotta love it. Yeah. So one of the things that we're recently working on is, uh, well, we already launched the restoration side of the business. And I would say to aspiring business owners that already have plumbing companies, uh, I know that a lot of people like to go from plumbing and then they go to HVAC, and that is a really good uh, add-on to you know, grow and extend your business. But I would say to consider restoration, because if you have a plumbing company, you're already there for the water damage, it just makes sense to take care of it because your company's already generating those leads. Awesome, and thank you for doing the tour with me. What's your guys' .com so people can check you out? It's allcityplumbingforyou.com or callallcity.com.